Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung washer water inlet valve. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve controls the hot and cold water coming into the washer. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's damaged and it's leaking on the floor, or one of the solenoids has failed and you're not getting any water. In order to change the part, we have to go to the back of the machine. Now that we're on back, we have access to the water inlet valve. It's located right here in the middle of the machine where the hoses are hooked up. We're going to take off the hoses. If yours aren't labeled, make sure you label them so you don't mix them up. And then we're just going to use a pliers to break them free. And then unscrew them by hand. In order to change the part, we have to take this cover off. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the two screws that hold it in. Now that you have the screws out, we're going to lift up on the panel a little bit in the back and then in the middle right here on each side, there's a little locking tab that we're going to press in on with the putty knife. You want to be careful, these tabs are pretty fragile. Somebody has been in here on this one and already broke ours off, but we'll show you where they're going to be. So you just want to press right here and then lift up and do the one on the other side. And then there's going to be a little tab right here that are also busted off on ours. You want to lift it out of the hole so the hook comes out. And then once you have both sides done, there's a couple tabs that go across the inside here that you don't have access to, so you're just going to have to lift up on it and flex it so it comes off. Once you have it free, you can set it aside. Now that we have access to the water inlet valve, we're going to take the wire harnesses off. If you want, you can take a picture of where everything goes but the wire links will keep them in place as long as you don't mix them up. I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver to help take them off because they're kind of tight. And once you have them off, you can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold it in. Now that we have the screws out, we're just going to get the wires out of the way and then we have to pull the valve out of these three fittings and then we have to use uh, pliers to take off the clamps so we can remove the hoses on the other two. Once you have them free, we're just going to lift it up and turn it over. Then we can grab the pliers and move the clamps down. Once you have them off, you can just remove the hoses. If they're on there a little tight, you can use a small flathead screwdriver again to help break them free. Once you have them off, you can pull the water inlet valve off the washer. Here's the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new valve in, we're just going to first hook up the hoses. Got the black one on this side. Just want to make sure it's seated all the way and then grab the clamp and the pliers and move it up into place. We can do the gray one. Once you have the clamps in place, we can rotate it down, 
Then we have to line up the three green seals with the fittings. Once you have the valve rotated down, you just want to make sure that the three fittings are lined up properly. And then you want to push it in so the seals go in all the way and you get a good seal. Once you have it in place, there's a little circle cutout on each corner that tells you that you have it in all the way. Just give it a good push, make sure it's all seated. And then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws to hold it down. Once you have the screws in, we can connect the wiring harness. Just wanna grab it and line it up. You just wanna make sure that they all go on and have a good connection. Once you have those on, we can put the cover on. To put the cover on, you want to make sure that the little tab hanging down goes into the little slot right here on each side. Again, our tabs are all missing already. So just want to get each corner one in, and then drop it down. Once you have it seated, we just have to tap in the ones on the front. So we're just going to tap it and snap them in. Once you have it in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws. Now we can put the fill hoses back on. Just want to make sure you get the hot on the hot and the cold on the cold. Just going to get them started by hand so we don't damage the threads. Then we can snug them down with the pliers so we don't get any leaks. Once you have them tightened down, we can plug it back in, turn the water on, and take a burst spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.